or the new game mode which is dropping today on global i should make a video on it uh on like what teams to run people are asking is it actually usable to swap lr Askenor for the one ultimate because maybe they just don't have lr Askenor, and they seen that humans have been the more favored team in this entire game mode and maybe it is the case maybe it is possible so right now what I have seen people run the one ultimate with is either they just run a variation just like you run with uh, Askenor. So Roxy, Mono is like a great combo because then, you know, Askenor can actually get land crits. Even with, you know, Murder Link as well, just making sure that you actually do connect those crits. And there have been people ult rushing, so I would recommend still keeping Easton if you can, but if you can't, then, you know... Rock a good back unit, it doesn't have to be human, that's the one thing with like Green Asker, it's very annoying, is that every single character in the team has to be human, but with the one ultimate is more flexible, you can run someone else, maybe even, uh, I mean Death Pierce is also a human, but I'd, I'd say him, or someone else that you might find to be better. But I've actually been seeing people run this as well, they would run Lolly Merlin, because Lolly Merlin is actually pretty good, with the in fact, it is pretty doable, to run her against those tears, if I face her, or if I find her, you know who Lolly Merlin is, whatever. And maybe Athena in the back, to still have the option to lower the ult gauge. But we're gonna be using this right here, and uh, see what we can make use of the one ultimate. I will say though, uh, LR Askenor does have more CC, so you do have to keep that in mind. So going first might end up being a challenge. Let's go straight in with the one. And yeah, just, just go in, just go in. Let's see how much damage it does here. I connect it. Ooh. See, with the second hit, it doesn't look so bad, but man, the difference in damage between Green Askenor and, and the one ultimate is crazy. It's actually crazy. Like, Green Askenor, if he crits with his level 1 attack, it's death. <laughs> no no exaggeration. That's the huge difference that these two characters have. I mean, it is pretty insane to think that, you know, the one ultimate was that, that was stronger. Although this guy has Arthur. Arthur was giving him uh, more crit defense and HP than usual. So that is definitely a factor to consider. Mana has Tar really, correct? No, okay. Uh, okay, we're supposed to open, but sure. You do. Alright. You know what, I'm... I'm not gonna use the Askenor AoEs. Because he doesn't have a takeoff alt gauge. So... Um, I can either combine, if I get another one from her alt gauge, maybe push an ultimate, or if I just die, I can use a level 3 AoE and wipe. So yeah, we can play through our strafes, right? So the one ult... The one ultimate might not end up being better in regards to like the turn 1 damage or anything. But he does still have that, you know, post-death factor. That definitely is a, is, a, is a deal, right? It's definitely gonna aid you, uh, if need be. So, uh, I mean, we're just gonna ult here. We won't end up using it. But here, yeah, yeah. If, if we died, we would have just level 3 AoE'd and probably wiped them. So, maybe the best way to play with him is just not running a team like this and maybe going with, uh, with the Merlin strategy people are running. But let me try again and see if I face someone that wasn't using Arthur. Okay, ooh, a Roxy. That is interesting. Hmm. Break shield and hopefully this kills. Oh no! It's Green Freya! Wait. It's Red Freya. Bro. <laughs> I. For a second, I was like, holy shit, I made a mistake. <laughs> no, it, my eyes did not deceive me, because I was like, I swear I didn't see the thing on top of, of the player's head, because usually I've been flip-flopping seeing people using green or red for you. So I just look 
instead of looking at the Freya, I'm looking at my characters. Usually the top CC ones, that being Green Askenor. If he has the thing on top of his head or not, before I attack. I didn't see anything, but then when attacking, I doubted myself, like, holy shit, actually. <laughs> maybe he doesn't have it, I just didn't notice. Okay, let's break the shield. And uh, we're going to be saving the Askenor AoE, just in case. Break the shield. Always oh, useful if you're facing a Roxy, which in this game mode you face some. Uh, make sure to break the shield. If you know you can't kill tier turn one, especially, you want to make sure at least the shield is broken so the other characters don't just get massively boosted. I was, I won't say confident, but I, I really wanted to see if I could kill tier. If he had dodge food, it would not have been possible. But with Green Ascular, it would have been. So. With the one ultimate, it might be a situation where you might want to instead play a slower pace. So it's just really mad, the, the turn one damage that you kind of need to have when using Roxy is just not here, you know? Because when you're using Roxy, your team is, it, is a lot of damage, is a lot of damage, but it's not very tanky. So you kind of have to, you know, do some eliminations basically right away or you're screwed and uh with this team i don't know if that's happening to be honest i'm not sure if uh turn one eliminations against dodge food especially are happening against other people who use cc food if you manage to go first it's gonna happen but the one ultimate doesn't even go first, like, because he has last season in LRS, LRS Kinner. It's sad, but, you know, everything points to this guy being, like, just so much worse in comparison. It's crazy. Like, we knew this, but it's just really, using it, it feels even worse. Put on Merlin to give a try to a different build, and, uh, a coincidence. Okay. Tarm. Yep. Seal that Tarmiel link, then go straight in. But I did not put Athena in the back because I'm a little concerned that without help, yeah, Asker is gonna be missing too many crits. And if he doesn't land a single crit, then <laughs> no Roxy passive, and at that point, it's just Jover. Like, this. Without Roxy passive, you're just not outputting enough damage to compete with anybody, really. That's death for Roxy. Yep. Um. Yep, death Pierce. I want to go for Merlin. I guess so. I think this should be enough. Yep, 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 okay. The thing with, with the one ultimate, right, is that he does get more stats the more time goes on, right? Like, the, the flame thing, he does keep getting stats. It's not a big deal. But, like, the first turn, if he had all the stats already, he would have been too strong when he came out, but now he would have been, uh, I think, more competitive. Yep. That's uh, that the old thing. Another Merlin? Bruh. Uh, I hope this AoE breaks the shield. You know, I want to trust Askarina, but I don't. <laughs> I think Roxas is more. It didn't break the shield. Roxas is more damage. Okay. I was concerned that for a second because I couldn't debuff with Merlin. These are like such a struggle. And now Merlin got the attack boost. This is gonna hurt. Merlin with the attack boost is going to hurt. It's like I mentioned with Roxy. Roxy, you output enough damage turn one, good. But like second turn, 
If she's not dead already? Okay. Big Tarm was on, uh, on, on, on tier, so I'm not so concerned now. This is gonna hit twice. Because of Ascular's own damage, plus Roxy passive. I should have targeted the Roxy, but it's whatever. It is the thing, right? All these matches, I haven't been able to, you know, have a post more than Ascanor AoE pop, but I think if a as a last resort, it could work. Especially level 3, so, you know, never use the Ascanor AoE. Ever until he's dead. That's what I would say. I'll use it now because we, we won. But as a rule, keep that Ascanor AoE. Just in case. Oh, maybe I don't. That, I mean, I knew. She's still gonna tank pretty decent, but that's. That shield was very tanky. Okay. Let's see. Uh, I kinda wanna test out the, the power of Merlin here. Let's see. Let's see what she can do. Fifty-four. Not the greatest thing ever. <laughs> not the greatest thing ever, but I guess it's not why she's here, right? She's here for her damage cap. And the infect. I guess with the Roxies and stuff, having her as a green unit is also pretty good. But if I just wanted a green unit, Mono could also have done the job, right? Just like that. Okay. Gotta kill her. This should be enough. I hope. Yeah, yeah. Second turn Nasco are a little bit stronger. Yep. Ooh. Even with the crit, that wasn't a kill. It's fine. I actually probably would have killed if not for Easton's passive. The 8% more HP and the defense there. Probably would have been a, a kill if not for that. Doesn't matter though. I'll play one more. I'll keep this, but... I don't, I don't know. Maybe you can actually find a team that... Works super well because you need to run him. But if you have options, I would have run him. Yeah, we're going second. It's Jover. It is Jover. Maybe if I got an extra Ascular card. 250k. CC. Yep. If we get multiple Ascular AoEs, I might kill. That doesn't look like multiple <laughs> Ascanor AoEs. Um. Still have a chance. I do need those multiple Ascanor AoEs though. I'm ready for Oxy because... Uh, typing. Yep. That. Plus, with how the second hit is gonna be a little harder for him to kill Merlin. Although he does have Infect, so. He will have noticed that Merlin has a level 3. Because, you know, 17 cards combined. <laughs> but ops for going to Ascanor. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, not being able to debuff Ascanor is very unfortunate. If I do this and kill Ascanor, I win, I think. Hmm. 
It didn't kill. <laughs> uh, if that's not an AoE, am I, am I still in? No, because Asker is dead. Yeah. Yeah, with Asker dying, then uh, we're gonna lose the ult gauge. Oh, well, I tried. I tried. Maybe I should have gone for the Asker AoE. But I was hopeful that uh, if I had gotten the Merlin ult and killed Asker, it would have been better. Because that Asker AoE level 1, I wasn't too sure on. Yeah. If you have options, I wouldn't run the one ultimate, but if not, it's not a, a bad option.